Peter, talk about getting involved with this and, and meeting the director, Bob Clark. I had been acting since two and a half, and you get all these auditions that they consolidate sort of into days, and I remember reading for this thing, and it was called A Christmas Story, and I gave it my best, and I heard nothing for probably about two and a half months, and then I got a call to go up to Canada and do a screen test uh, where they take a bunch of kids at that time, they were doing this, where they sort of mix and match, and they do chemistry reads, where they, and they kind of have you learn every other role, and each other person learns them, and they start to whittle it down. And uh, they were sort of whittling down the room, and if you're asked to leave, they always say, oh, no, it's fine, but you know it's a bad sign. Uh, I, was, I kept making the grade, and I was down to the end, and Bob said, I'd like you to play the part. Um, later found out I was the first person he ever saw for the role. And he said, oh, I like the kid, but obviously I'm not going to hire the first person I see. So he sort of went on this whole search, and it came back around. Um, and then I just, yeah, which was um, a great experience for me. I got to, I think it was Cleveland where we were shooting first, or Canada. And uh, Bob said, oh, I just finished the movie I uh, last shot. You want to come see it? Uh, and it was Porky's 2. Um, <laughs> So my mom had some reservations about what she got me into on this one. Uh, but we kind of forged ahead into the winter in Cleveland, working outside in pajamas and sort of all the other things. And I, the last thing that I remember was that um, I think the downtown had, either you had gotten them to do it or they had a lot of the Christmas decorations sort of still up. So as a kid, it felt a lot like Christmas was continuing. So there was something very magical and fun about that. The great thing about Bob, and I, I did, uh, as you know, Porky's one and two, we did Christmas Story. And then I did another picture with Bob later on, um, some years later. Uh, for, for a designer, um, Bob let you do the movie, let you deliver the movie. So, you know, you came to him with your drawings, you know, and your concepts and whatever. And, you know, like, I, I, I don't remember having anything with Bob that was like, no, I don't think so. You know, like he, 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 you couldn't miss. It was always there on the paper, you know, so it just jumped out at you. And particularly with Christmas Story, um, I don't know anybody who as a child did not grow up wanting that really special, special gift. And you waited till the 99th hour and you just don't think you're going to get it. And it's just, it's getting really bad. And, <laughs> and then, you know, it's right at the end, and it's like, well, this is it, and there it is. And it's like, wow. And that's the magic of the movie, I think, you know. <laughs>